you know, where we're going is clearly um, not being a shoe company, but truly the one for one company. I uh, started my first company when I was 19 years old. Uh, dropped out of college, just trying to kind of figure out, you know, really just how to pay the bills. And so uh, I kind of stumbled into entrepreneurship. I was at the time running an online driver's education company uh, here in Los Angeles and I took a month off and every year I try to take the month of January off to go and recharge and reconnect and uh, this particular trip I went down to Argentina you know took some tango lessons I learned to play polo uh, and on that trip I actually uh, met a few women that were doing volunteer work and what they specifically were doing was something they called a shoe drive and what that meant was they were going around collecting slightly used shoes and then they were going to distribute these shoes um, you know, from the wealthy people they collected them from to these children who didn't have them and specifically needed shoes to go to school. And I was just blown away by these women in this nonprofit that was working down there and I wanted to help. That afternoon I told my buddy, actually my polo teacher Alejo, that I had this idea how we could help these kids get shoes help them continue to get shoes in a sustainable way and at the same time start a business. And we just started making shoes, literally with our own hands uh, in a little factory that's smaller than a two-car garage here in the States. And, uh, and that's really kind of how I got started. When I first had the idea for Tom's, the idea was if we sell a pair of shoes today, we'll give away a pair tomorrow. And we were going to call them Tomorrow's Shoes. So I shortened Tomorrow's to Tom's, and that's how we got to the name. So when we started talking to shoe companies and the media that we were going to give a pair away for a pair we sold one for one, A, people didn't believe us. And then everyone that did believe us said, you're going to be out of business in a year because there's no way you can sustain that. So we were the first ones to really create this one for one model. And one of the things I'm most proud of is many companies now are, are following too. And that one for one model has evolved you know, way beyond shoes now to helping people with eyesight. And we're developing many other one for one products as we speak. When we started, our goal was to help 250 kids in one village just outside of Argentina. And that first summer, we sold 10,000 pairs. And we thought, wow, 10,000 pairs is something bigger than I could ever imagine. And then several years later, we hit 1 million pairs. And so now to have given 10 million pairs of shoes and over 150,000 people their eyesight back through our sunglass program is, uh, are just numbers that are just hard to believe for me. We have uh, factories in Asia, we have factories in Africa, and we have factories in South America. And so it's really important that as we expand, we have shoes for everyone because we really need everyone to keep the movement going.